Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm gonna break down with all of this behind me here, what that means. And first, I want to explain something really important. So a lot of coaches that we talk to that want to grow their business, we find out when we get on a call with them that they're just using like maybe one or two ways to get traffic, to get leads to sales calls that ultimately end up coming into the program. Now, can you have a successful business with just like one or two ways of getting clients? Yes, but only if it's working. And this is the thing. I talk to a lot of coaches that, you know, they'll tell me, hey, I have an Instagram page. I have a website. I have these things, but they're just not bringing me leads. And I always tell them, okay, well, if that's not currently working, we need to find other ways to get clients. Now, I want you to imagine going fishing, right? If you go fish, you throw out you know, the bait, right? And you're in a huge ocean and you just have like one line. You throw out one line and you sit there and you're patient and maybe, you know, a couple hours later, you're gonna get a little nibble and then you're gonna end up maybe catching a fish, right? Now, imagine going out there with 10 or 20 different lines. Like the odds of you catching fish faster <laughs> are so much higher. And this is the same thing with your business. If you have other traffic sources where you're able to promote and get clients from, you're going to get more calls, you're gonna get more activity within your business. And this is why you should never just try to rely only on one thing, unless that one thing has proven to get you multiple sales calls per day, all right? Which for most coaches, that's not the case, all right? So I'm gonna break down these four things here, or sorry, these five things. I think these are five necessities to have in your business. And I think if you have these five things here, you'll have a really good uh, foundation with your business as far as like having a predictable way of getting leads to get on calls to then close them on your sales appointments, all right? So first is social media. Now the way we approach social media is a little bit different than uh, a lot of coaches out there. A lot of coaches, will just i don't they, they post everything about them they're not posting about their clients they're not they're not showing the results of their clients they try to make it this like personal brand can that work yes but most coaches who sell like an in-person training service right they need to start focusing more on the results they need to start focusing more on the problems that they're solving um, and they need to make their business around the client success all right so with social media you should be using that to promote your business. You should be using that to drive people from watching a video or watching a story to get on a call with you. And what we also see is a lot of coaches are afraid to sell on social media. You should never be afraid to sell there. Um, this is something you have to like, if you really wanna use social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or anything else, you have to be relentless. You have to sell. You have to be willing to talk about the thing that you do. Right? And the more you talk about the thing that you do, and the more consistent it is, the more offers that you put out, right? the more leads you're gonna get, all right? the more money you're gonna make. So number one, uh, and these aren't in like a particular order, I'm just showing you, all right, based off the list I have here. So number two is referrals. Like a lot of coaches just straight up don't ask for referrals. So if you don't ask for referrals, you're losing out on a lot of money. And that's common because as, as a coach, you're like doing, you know, day in, day out, you're training kids. You forget about asking your clients for referrals. And a lot of coaches, they, they hesitate with this too because they think they're annoying or they think they're bugging their clients and they think they're, you know, the client will be rubbed off the wrong way. That is not true. If your clients are in your business, if they're paying customers, they believe in your product, they like your product, they are staying. So why not ask them, all right? This should be something like a good business owner should be getting at minimum, I would say between three to 10 referrals per month. I would say that's pretty average. Like good business owners will have between three to 10 new clients per month. You know, if we do, if we do the math over the course of the year, that's anywhere between uh, 36 to 100 referrals per year. Right? If you get 100 referrals per year and those referrals are paying 3K per year, right? that's $300,000 of lost revenue that you're probably not getting 
because you're probably not getting these referrals. All right, so if we have this in, in motion, we have this in motion, and you have a good website. So a good website, that, that to me, it means it, you have very clear messaging and you have a way people can join your email list. You have an application process there. Uh, that also means that if someone goes into your local area, if they go into like, let's say they're looking at Miami basketball trainers, they should be able to go Google that and your website should be ranked on the first page of Google. If it's not, you're not going to get as much traction as you should with your website, right? Your website can be a huge tool to get a lot of leads that are, that are looking online, all right? Because it's a little bit different when parents are, are searching with intent and they find you and your website is awesome and it's clear and it's easy for them to get on a call with you. It's easy for them to apply. That is a great way of getting uh, new inquiries into your business monthly, all right? So that right there is huge. You should be able to do that a lot throughout the month. You should have a ton of people who are on your website that are searching, that are applying, all right? That's another one. Next is Google Maps. I made another video about this. I gave a tutorial on exactly what to do, how to do it. If your business is not on Google Maps, right, then all of the people who are on Google Maps in your area have a huge advantage over you. Because if someone types in basketball training Miami or basketball training program Miami and they pull up the other people, the other competitors in your area and you're not there, then you don't get that client, right? And that is a client. That is someone who's looking for training right now, right? And they don't want to go scroll to the third or fourth page of Google. No one does that. Like I, I, when I search for something, I'm looking at like the first two searches. So you can have your business listed on Google Maps. If you have no idea what I'm talking about or how to do that, go search my channel. You, there's a search bar and you can just type in Google Maps. I should pull up the video that I've already done, all right? Next here is direct outreach, all right? This is a newer way to get clients that a lot of coaches are not implementing yet. But some coaches that we work with, they have started to do this. They've gotten great results. This is you spending 20, 30 minutes per day Instagram or Facebook, direct messaging parents that have kids that play the sport that you train. And the goal, the intent is to reach out to someone, get them onto a sales call. That is it. That is, that is all it is. It's reach out to them with a good message, get them interested, get them onto a sales call, learn more about their child, see how you can help and look to get them into your program. All right. This here is a strategy that anybody can do. Even if you have very little social presence, you don't have to have a bunch of followers to do that. That is you hunting and finding people. So think about it. If you have all of these five things in motion, all right, you got your social media, you got the referrals, you have a website, <clears throat> you got the Google Maps, you have the outreach. If those things are in motion, each one of these things should be getting you clients every month. Every single month, you should be getting clients from these five things. If you're not, you, it's either not set up correctly or you're just not maximizing it the way it should be, all right? So if you have questions about growing your business, you wanna ramp it up, you want more clients, you want your clients to, to pay more, you want your clients to be more committed, text me at this number right here. I'd love to get on a quick chat with you, see if we can help you out. That's it, catch you later.